Senator, you have said that you will run for president if you sense a political revolution brewing in the country. What are the measurements you're looking for to judge whether that's happening? Look, uh, I think everybody understands today that our middle class is disappearing and the gap between the very, very rich and everybody else is growing wider. If we're going to be successful in taking on the billionaire class, and that means Wall Street and the insurance companies and the drug companies and the military industrial complex, that's a pretty tough fight uh, because these guys have an enormous amount of power. If I run for president, I want to do it well. And to do it well means to say you need a strong grassroots movement of people from 50 states in this country. And I have to determine and will determine whether or not there is that type of support for a campaign against the billionaire class. That's difficult for an independent to do. It's difficult for anybody to do. Look, I mean, there are some people, to be honest with you, uh, Kay, who believe that, in a sense, the horse is out of the bond, that these guys have so much power. If you go to Washington, D.C., and you see the power of the lobbyists, you see these people with all of their campaign contributions, I think the average person says, you know what, who cares about the middle class? Who cares about working families? These guys are just too powerful. That may be the case, but what I want to ascertain is whether or not there is the support to say government has got to start working for ordinary people and not just for billionaires. No president, no matter how brilliant, great, wonderful he or she may be, will be able to stand up effectively for the middle class, take on the billionaire class, unless there is a grassroots movement of millions and millions of people which say to Wall Street, sorry guys, you can't have it all. Say to the drug companies, you can't charge us the highest prices in the world. No president can do it alone. No Congress can do it alone. You need the active participation of the American well, do you see there that another... fervor beginning right now? That's what I'm trying to ascertain. Look, on the other hand, we just came from an election. Republicans won big, but I think the even bigger story, 63% of the people didn't vote. 60, 80% of young people don't vote. People are demoralized. They're working really hard. They're worried about their kids. They don't see government doing anything. Whether there is that kind of excitement and willingness to take on the big money interest, that's, trying, that's what I'm trying to ascertain.